All right, I'm gonna teach you how to make two different kinds of twirler wings. Twirler wings require you to have pieces of paper, but also a straw. So um, this particular one is going to require me to cut across this thick line in the middle here. Now, um, as you may know, the dotted lines are for folding. The thick black line is for cutting and also any other black lines are for cutting. So actually I'm gonna to need to cut along here and also here. This grayed out part means that it gets thrown away. So this part is also gonna get thrown away. So I'm gonna start cutting down along the bottom, cut right along this black line, as you can see. So we're cutting along the black line. And now I'm gonna have two different kinds of twirler wings. One that looks like this, and that's all I need to do for the cutting for this one because there's no other spots where there's a straight black line. And this one, which I'm going to need to cut out the gray parts. So I'm going to start with this one and I'm just going to make it as it is. So the folding needs to look like this. First I fold it so it folds down the middle like this. Now I have a fold looking like that. Then I'm going to fold going in this direction so that this fold folds the other direction. I'm not folding the same way, I'm folding back the other direction from the first crease that we made. I'm going this way. And now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I have a, like a little mountain in the middle and I'm gonna fold the other piece also up along this section. And so what I end up with is something like this that is going to get inserted into a straw not quite done with the folding. I need to fold along this line. Now this is the tricky part because it's a diagonal. So you have to kind of just do your best and be okay with ish, trying to fold along this line. It can be helpful to do this on a flat surface too. Um, and now we've got a little bit of a twirly wing. I can fold this direction too. All right, so now I have it so that it folds up, right? I can try that out and if I don't like it or if I'm interested in finding out what happens the other direction, I can fold them down so that the flaps both face down. And now I have my um, twirly. I think this is officially the way they want you to do it, but I think you should try it both ways and, um, and get a straw. And in order to make this work, you'll need a scissors. So I have a scissors here. You insert the scissors into the straw and you kind of do a little snip that's not all that big maybe like about a finger depth of snip. Then on the other side from the, where you did that snip, you make another snip. So that there now, if you could take a look closely, you can see that there's two sides to this. And I can take my <clears throat> piece of paper and insert it into the straw. It might be a little tricky and challenging, but just do your best so that the straw is on both sides, so that it went right through to both sides of the straw. And now this won't necessarily stay on, so I might need a piece of tape to fasten it with. So luckily I have some handy dandy tape. Take just a small piece, it really needs to be pretty small. And then you can take this piece of tape and stick the tape onto one side, doesn't need to be both sides, just one side of the straw and it should make it so that it holds on really nicely and you can give your uh, twirler a, a spin. See what happens. If you drop it, will it spin or will it do something else? And um, if it does spin, why do you think it's spinning that way? Try doing some different things with the flaps. Maybe one up, one down, both up, both down. See what you can figure out and see what makes it spin different ways. So that's one way. Um, then there's this other twirler bird, twirly, twirler wing that you'll need to make. And that one I will also need a scissors for. And you'll need to cut out this gray section because you can see there's straight lines here. Now this line here is pretty much right straight along. I guess I could cut that one out as well, but it's not as important as getting um, some of the gray off. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut. Starting there, cutting right along here so that most of the gray is gone. Then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, cutting up here. Oops, cutting a little bit more carefully, cutting along again so that most of the gray is gonna be gone. There, that's gone. Now, just like before, I'm gonna fold along this line 
for, to start. And then after I fold it along this line, I've got kind of a mountain going on. I want to fold along this dotted line going the opposite direction. And now that I've got that, I've got a little mountain, I'm going to fold this way also going the opposite direction. So now these are folded up. And this, right? Now this is the part that's going to actually be inserted into my straw just like before. I can get a straw. I can snip one side, snip the other side. Some people like to try to snip through both sides at once. That can be really tricky. So I prefer to just snip one side and then stick my scissors in the bottom and snip the other side so that I can be pretty sure it's snipped all the way through. Again, just like before. And then I take my, um, my paper and try to insert it in there. And again, I'm going to need a piece of tape to fasten it. tape here. Now these are a little bit, they look pretty similar except that one is, one has some bending, but they're not actually very similar at all. If you look at the tops, you can see this one, <laughs> this one is straight across with some bends. And this one is not straight across. This one kind of goes zigzaggy. It starts down low and then there's another piece that's a little higher up. So, or a little bit off kilter from it. So that they're kind of different and I wonder how they'll how they'll do. Will they both spin? Will they do something different? Is there a better way to get them to spin? You scientists will have to figure that out.